For the first recipe, all you need is an avocado, some blueberries, and some chopped up mango. Start off by slicing the avocado in half and removing the pit. We have this nifty little avocado tool that makes this part pretty easy. You want to make sure that your avocado feels kind of soft rather than hard and that's kind of like your sign that it's ripe and ready to eat. Then go ahead and scoop out the inside into your blender of choice. We use the Nutribullet for most everything and we love it. And then put in as many blueberries as you'd like. We tend to put in quite a few for our son Caleb since he's not the biggest fan of avocado, but if we throw in some other flavors, he eats this right up. And then same thing with the mango pieces. We don't always add mango and sometimes leave it as a blueberry avocado mixture, but this just gives him some added sweetness. And then I'll add a little bit of water and blend that up. Doesn't look the most appetizing, but this is a great way to get your baby to eat avocado, which is so, so good for them. It helps with their growth and development, gives them fiber, vitamin C and K, and just all around one of the healthiest things you can give to your baby. For the next recipe, you will need a sweet potato and a few carrots. Start off by preheating your oven to 425 degrees and scrubbing your sweet potato. Then you're going to put tin foil over a baking sheet and poking holes in the middle with a fork. This will help you be able to tell when the sweet potato is done. Pop that in the oven for 45 minutes. While that's cooking, you can go ahead and wash your carrots and chop those up. Then you're going to want to boil them until they get soft. Once the sweet potato is done, you can take the skin off. My husband has magic deli hands that aren't sensitive to heat as much, but I recommend you wait for the potato to cool a little bit before you start trying to take the skin off, but it is easy to take off when it's hot. Just cut it up into smaller pieces and blend it up with some water. If you prefer it to be a little thicker, don't add as much water, but if you prefer more of a puree, then add quite a bit of water. In our experience, it took our 10 month old a little longer to get used to the texture of the homemade sweet potato over the Gerber baby puree, since ours was a little thicker, but he loves it now. And then add your sweet potato to whatever container you're going to be storing it in, rinse out your blender, drain the carrots, and add those in with a little bit of water and then just add them straight in with the sweet potatoes.
then just mix those together and you're done. Our son's favorite veggies are sweet potato and carrots, so it was definitely not hard to get him to eat this. It's more about getting him to not eat too much of it at one time. For this final recipe, we will be making baby beef stew, and this is going to be for babies who preferably have already been eating solids for a couple months, but you're going to need around a half a pound of beef cut into cubes, two teaspoons of olive oil, about a quarter of an onion, one carrot, one potato, and one cup of water. So just start off by chopping up the carrot and onion and then peel and cut up the potato. Then heat up the olive oil on a high heat in a pot for just two to three minutes before putting in the beef and stirring that up until the beef is brown on both sides. in the water, potatoes, carrots, and onion and bring that to a boil. Once it's boiling, turn the heat down to low, stir everything up one more time, and then let it cook for an hour and 15 minutes. your beef stew cool in the fridge before you put it into the blender and we actually do use an actual blender for this recipe rather than the bullet because it just works better at pureeing this so I am putting some of it into the blender and adding more water than I would for the other recipes just because it takes a little more to blend up properly <music>
I actually set aside some of this recipe without blending it up because my toddler and I really like to eat this too. So this is a great option for the whole family to eat the same thing at dinner time or whenever. So a little bonus tip, my son loves to eat yogurt and we were buying the Gerber baby yogurt packs but those lasted him less than a week and we were just spending way too much money so we tried out this plain whole milk yogurt. You can get any kind of plain whole milk yogurt. Although your baby can't have actual whole milk yet, they can have whole milk yogurt which actually provides them with a ton of vitamins and minerals but it's all about preference. And this one tub of yogurt will last him a month or longer with him eating it almost every day for breakfast. And my son actually will eat this plain, but I like to add some flavor to it every now and then. You can use blueberries, strawberries, any fruit you like. So you're just going to blend up whatever fruit you want in your blender. And I like this to be super watery, so I add a lot of water with it. So when you mix the two together, just scoop out the amount of yogurt you need into a bowl and drizzle a little bit of the blended up fruit, you don't need that much, over top of it and mix it together and that just makes a super easy breakfast or snack for your baby. enjoyed this baby recipe video. I hope you found it helpful. Leave your favorite baby recipes in the comments below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.